All right, what's going on? It's Raindrop here. No longer using my name for this stuff. I love the nickname, so shout out ODS. Um, thank you guys for that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm back at the Arboreum. Got the big, oh, I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> I did it again. Got the big field behind me right here. Um, geez, I came on my phone. Uh, I got the waterfall over there. You can't really see it. Got this beautiful tree behind me with this bush right here. And the sun is out and it is gorgeous. Got some blue skies. So yeah, um, let's get started with the questions. So, well, first, before we start the questions, I just want to say I started, uh, I did the mindfulness exercise of mental photographs. Um, I did that with uh, the campers uh, this past week, and um, I wanted to do it again here because it was, I didn't do it here last time, and I wanted to take, like, a big old picture of everything, like this field, and I wanted to zoom into some of these plants and trees and see what it, it was, because it was, I went up personal and touched some of the leaves and flowers and such when there are rain droplets, rain droplets on it because that's special and it doesn't have, like, it's just something I don't get to take uh, notice of often. So I wanted to do that and I wanted to see the difference. Um, and yeah, so while talking about differences, uh, the first question is what changes did you notice at your solo spot? So some changes I noticed at my solo spot is one, uh, there's people over there where I was originally um, doing taking the video because people are graduating, they're taking nice photos. Um, so yeah, that's something I noticed. More people are out because it's nicer and it's really beautiful out. Um, so second thing I noticed was just the trees and the flowers and the plants just blossoming. They look beautiful, they smell great, and um, I also see some rabbits and like some squirrels out and a lot more bees. So it's just very active here, very beautiful, and just uh, coming all together. So it's great. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just some things. Also something I've noticed going deeper into saying it's nice out, uh, it's nicer out. Um, I don't see any more rain droplets, even though it just rained here. Oh, which is why I waited till later to do this. It's it dried up pretty quick, and there's like no raindrops. Like there's nothing on these leaves right here. Like there's nothing on these uh, petals and everything. It's just dried up. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's something else different that changed at my uh, solo spot. So how did I feel before and after spending time outside? So before I came here, spending time outside, right? Like right now, I was a little not stressed, but I was just like I just wanted to get outdoors because it's such a nice day. And right before this, I just turned in my reflection, my post ODS reflection. So I was just itching to get outside. I was like, it's so nice, I just wanna get outside. I wanna get out in downtown, not downtown State College, but just like here at the Arboreum and just spend some time here and get this, you know, get this done. Um, so I was just like, I was just itching. I was just eager to get outside. Um, and I wasn't stressed, but I could just feel a little bit of built up tension. Like I was just like, I wanna go, I wanna go, but I can't because I wanna get this done first. Um, and I'm also traveling home tonight, so I want to get all this done. Um, but after spending time outside, I feel great. I feel more one, I guess, like I said before. And I feel uh, at peace, and I just feel present. And just like how I felt, um, I'll, I'll explain how I felt before and after ODS. Before and at, before ODS, I felt very um, um, rushed with a lot of things because I was getting final projects done. A lot was going on trying to figure out stuff and get in my last little bit of texting and stuff and uh, communicate communicating before I had to go to ODS um, like because there's a lot of planning that I have to do for this summer with um, my leadership team so I had to do a lot of that um, but other than that um, so I felt a little like stressed and a little like rushed um, before ODS but after ODS and spending that time outside and in the nature and just unplugged I felt very um, at peace and I explained it in my post ODS reflection but I just felt very um, um, present I felt uh, refreshed like you said I really did feel refreshed because I was in a routine um, of like my eating my sleeping and I just I feel great I feel great right now um, so I really thank you guys for helping me get back into that routine because I was not living the best routine um, just going to bed late and stuff uh, before ODS. So yeah, that's that's been great. So yeah, before and after, um, felt a little tense, felt eager to get outside, and afterwards I feel great. I feel great after getting out here and feeling present. Uh, what changes have you noticed about yourself after engaging in mindfulness exercises and spending time outside? Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like whenever I f I'm outdoors, I feel more at peace. Um, after doing these mindfulness exercises, my body just like releases these tensions that I have. My body just relaxes and I'm just able to free my mind, you know? Nothing really matters at the time. Um, and I'm just, I'm just here, I'm just present, you know? It's hard to explain, but that's just how I feel. Um, so what changes have you noticed about yourself after engaging? 
Yeah, I sorry, I just re reread the question just to make sure I got all the points. Yeah, I just I just feel good. I f I feel better. I feel refreshed, and I just feel like I just feel good. It's <laughs> that that's all I can say. Um, what do I want to commit? Um, so what do you want to commit to doing uh, for your health and well being now that ODS is over? Well, something that I want to commit to is going to bed before midnight for sure. If it's not slightly before 11, it's got to be between 11 and 12. 12 has got to be the cutoff. Like, that's something I want to keep going uh, and waking up pretty early. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a night owl, but I'm also an early bird. I just love being up. Um, so something I want to do is definitely stick to that habit. And also, I want to stick to the habit of trying to eat more salads throughout my days. Um, because um, I ate a lot of salad this week and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, and I felt healthier doing it and I just felt like I had a good routine of my eating patterns and like eating stuff but also eating good healthy things so yeah um, that's something else I also want to take um, after ODS and I, I want to commit to um, what practices um, will you incorporate into your personal routine some practices that I want to incorporate is definitely the mental photographs to just capture every image you know just and to just go in and see the detail of it and the scope back out and to have a mental photograph. But then I also want to do more of the senses awareness. And I think, um, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's right here. The guided muscle relaxation where you're like tensing up and then you're letting it go. That really helped my body just like relax. So those three mindfulness exercises I really want to incorporate. Uh, maybe I do like one each day, either in the morning or... Um, in the afternoon, I feel like those would be the two best times to either start my day well or if I need it in the middle of the day or even just do it periodically. I can do it more than once a day. Um, yeah, I feel like that would be best. Um, so yeah, um, I wanna commit to being healthier, eating healthier, going to bed earlier, waking up early and uh, continue doing these mindfulness exercises and, and, and getting out in nature. That's, that's the other thing I wanna commit to is getting out more in nature and not just being like, oh, like I can just be on my phone and relax my mind by being on my phone or watching a movie or something. Now I wanna go outside and just like do a mindfulness ex exercise, you know, be in God's creation or like even read the Bible out in nature or something, you know, something like that. But that's something I wanna commit to. So thank you to ODS for helping me have an outlet to do this and to recognize this. Um, yeah, thanks, see ya.